Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about how we go about welding up a long seam in automotive body repair without warping the panel or having any other troubles. This patch panel is tacked into place. Now all we have to do is fill in the gaps. The welder is set at 1. We're going to try that out and see how it works. The wire feed is at 32, 33. And that's good enough for that spot. Now I'm going to move down here so that we don't get too much warpage. And that's good for there. Now we're going to move down, maybe down here. And that's good for there. And we just keep alternating. Now I'm going to come back down here. And the thing is, is to not worry if you get a few bad welds. You're going to get some bad welds. But you're not going to worry about that. You're going to do the best you can on welding this up and getting the welds as close as you can. Here's a close-up shot of the welds after this lap joint was finished. As you can see, they're not exactly on top of each other, but I'm happy with this. You can put them right next to each other or space them apart. Remember, this is going to be ground, sandblasted, tapped down, filled, primed, and painted. And the back side, we can undercoat if we like. After cleaning up the welds and grinding the area clean, we're ready to tap this seam down and fill it. I hope you enjoyed this short video on some details of welding long seams in auto body repair. And if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.